Um, uh, okay, what do you have for me on the topic? All right, um, I'm Asia. I'm 31. I mm-hmm. live in Brooklyn, New York. And you have I'm a child? Divorce. Yes, I do. I'm, and I'm also I'm a current divorcee. Okay. My first husband, because that's who my daughter's dad is, he is a middle six figure earner. He's a physician. So I feel like personally, I present myself well to men in that financial bracket. Okay, what's the question? My question is, how is it after coming out of a marriage like that, do I then present myself once again to men of that financial bracket? Because you're saying that- Let's get right to it. How old are you? 31. And your your ex-husband did what? He's a doctor, he's a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist, okay. Um, All right. See, that's the difference. When we say doctor, you know, medical doc, physician, internist, surgeons, that's where the real money is. Psychiatrists, mm-hmm. psychologists, they do well, but they ain't rich. That's what I said. He's a middle six-figure earner. All right. So, and you said you were married twice? No, he is my first and only husband so far. And how long And how long ago were you married? Up until three years ago. Okay. So you're 31? Yes. You got married at 18? Yes. Were you raised by mom and dad? Um, Mom at home and dad not at home. So no. My mother and father were married. My father lived out of the state working. So yes and no. Uh, how much older was your husband than you? <sighs> we'll say 35 years. Okay, I just need the truth. So no, he, he is much older than me. So he's 53? Currently, yes. Okay, why was an 18-year-old man a 53-year-old man? Did your father hook you guys up? No. he's My father's younger than him. Um, for me, it was a personal choice. I was not raised in a household where I had to love or be with any particular race, religion, or sex. If I'd have brought home two palm trees and said that this is what I wanted to be with for the rest of my life, there wouldn't have been any question. Well, that's a damn shame. Um, it's a damn shame. That's a damn shame that you could bring home two palm trees and we think that's okay, but okay. Was your ex-husband black? Yes, he was. All right. 53 years old. You could pick him. Great. Why'd y'all divorce? My husband got sick with cancer and that changed him and it changed the dynamics of our marriage. There was nothing that I did not do. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to need to be very specific with the next few questions. Did he have chemo or radiation? He had a form of chemo, which is called BCG. It's an injection. I know. That, I know um, what cancer is. I'm a cancer survivor. Okay. Is he in remission? Yes, he is. And you divorced him because... And who filed for divorce? I did. Why? He became mentally, emotionally, and financially abusive. What does that mean? So mentally... I was degraded. I was made to feel less than. I was talked down to. Emotionally, as a partner and a spouse, I was emotionally neglected. And financially, funds began to be withheld from me that would have normally never been an issue. God almighty. Okay. It's amazing how many women who file for divorce seem to be so abused. But the answer to your question, no. No. Any man who's a Henry hearing this would be wise to run. None of this sounds appealing. Do you understand why? That's the reason why I'm calling and asking said Well, ma'am, you got married at 18 years old. So if you're 30, he should be 65. I'm 31, so he's 66. Right. Okay. So for everybody at home, she was 18, married to a 53-year-old. And he took care of you just fine up until he got sick. Correct. And then when he was fighting for his life, you became a snowflake. No, when he was fighting for his life, I became a warrior. Uh -uh. Uh-uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'll give you that one. But I'm going to need you to understand what you just said. He was fighting for his life. What war were you in? For your life? No, for my husband's health. Ma'am, you just said you you were in your husband. You divorced your husband because he became financially abusive. Which I, 
Don't Sorry, over talk. Can I? Don't over. No, the man was going. Okay, he was he was being injected with poison. He was going through quite a bit. So you know what? He's allowed to go through some. Was he on prednisone also? No. Okay. Was he on any kind of steroid? No, he refused. <laughs> oh, but he's still injected in poison. So, ma'am, here's your story. I got married to a man at 53 years old at 18, and this man took perfect care of me. He was older than my father. I, did, do you have to work? Did you have to work when you were married? No, but I no, chose you didn't have to. to. No, no, no. You chose. But you didn't pay no real bills. You didn't have no skills. Knock it off. He was the he was the money. He was the money. See, he actually saved you from yourself. And then when he got sick, you you got are you a Christian? No. Did you where'd you get married? We got married at a courthouse. Who and and, and what vows did you? Eat? Sickness and in health. So death was what the you, general you, vows. You, you, the you, general you, vows from the from the Bible. If that's where they get them from, then yeah. Well, the you know where vow. they get them from. You're a married woman, and you said them. And then when he got sick, you you bailed. No, I did not. But I hear what you're saying. No, you did. You just don't want to hear it that way. You left. You're sick. No, I did. You divorced your cancer, your your cancer suffering husband. Once he was in remission, after oh, okay. I okay, okay. So after yeah, I did. Okay, I, I I would never leave anybody like that because I would hate to be left like that. Right, right. There was not so, a doctor's uh, appointment. So are you I working right now? Currently, yes. Okay, and what do you do for a living? I own my own private consultancy business. How did you get the money to, to run that business? Uh, by working other jobs. Uh -uh. I've been a flight attendant, so I saved my own money. Okay, so, so I want to get straight. You mean your your, your ex-husband didn't have any money tied? He didn't help you get to start your own business? You didn't take any money from or resources from the marriage? No. When I left the marriage, all I wanted was my name, my okay. car, and my daughter's college account. That's it. Your car and college account. Okay. Um, yeah, I got other people in here. I, I'm gonna just tell you right now. No, ma'am. Nope. My spidey senses are tingling and I, I'm sitting all kind of lies, deceptions, half truths. <laughs> and at 18 years old, 31 years old, you, you I'm gonna be honest, ma'am. This is a whole mess. Though even the way you're talking, it just sounds like, ugh. you left, you divorced your ex. And what you think you're gonna just gonna pick another one? Why would anybody want, why would anybody want to deal with Let's see. I'm intelligent. I'm motivated. I have my own business. I maintain my own lifestyle. I'm not understanding the full scope of your question. Well, see, that's the problem now, ain't it? You just described yourself as a man. See, you got to understand what the men want. And none, nothing you said in there was anywhere close to being feminine, beautiful, inspirational, caring. Loving the way you're talking almost sounds like a dude. Better go back to your husband. That's all you got, especially in New York. What, what, what part of New York? Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. No, it's done. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4. How much do you weigh? 180. Goodbye. No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. 5'4", 180, and all that attitude. Mm, 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 mm,